Hello everyone, welcome back to Trails in the Sky. So last episode we got into the uh, the Sky Bandit ships and actually managed to get inside their hideout. And here they are, they're the passenger and also looks like Cassius is not in here because apparently he took off before they depart, so yeah. Oh, have we been saved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we gotta fight the boss. Their boss, actually. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead. Hmm. Is it in here? Is this? Yep, it looks like the Sky Band boss Hmm. Not yet. I want to check out the things first. Though. Reviving bomb. The treasure chest is offended that you have returned. Was the first time not good enough for you? <laughs> oh man, I keep forgetting to read this goddamn chest every time I opened it. Ugh. There is a rock wall at the end of the passage. Is this the dead end? No, it looks like there's something here. Shall we try pushing on it? Uh, sure. This was a secret door. That's quite a neat little trick there. I wouldn't expect anything less from, from a secret fort. This looks like it's a corner of the Nebel Valley. So, should we help the hostages escape first? No, we need to take out the Sky Bandit boss first. If we're attacked while attempting to escape, there's not, there's no way that we'll be able to protect that many people. Oh, that's true. Well then, how about we get back in there and have to face, have a face-to-face -face chat with the gentleman running this our fine operation. Yeah, we shall. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> Wahahaha, <laughs> so the queen's gonna pay out the ransom, is he? He's got red eyes. <laughs> now we can finally say goodbye to this meager leaving living. Don't get careless, bro. We haven't got the money yet in hand yet. Yeah, and we'll need to decide on a plan on, on how to lead the, ho the let the hostages go. Let the hostages go? Now hold on a minute, why do we have to bother with that? Uh, but once we get our mirror, We'll just kill them all and be done with it. We have no need to leave the, le leave them alive. D Don, you're joking, right? They know exactly what we look like. Remember? Even if we left Liberal for good, we could be st we could still be tracked, right? There are old people and kids among them. Do you really intend to kill them all? I swear, no matter how old you get, you never grow up. This isn't playtime. Get it? But I... I'm sorry to say this, bro, but I'm against killing the hostages, too. Adios will never forgive us if we do that. And I don't want to get our home back with Mira stained in the blood of innocent people. Kyle, since when did you become the boss around here? Huh? I think it's about time you learn your place. God! K Kyle! <laughs> Who cares about our old home? With this kind of Mira coming in? We could poss- what could po what could you possibly want with our old worthless land? Huh, <laughs> we're gonna blow all this cash somewhere near the southern resort and enjoy the good life for a while. What did you say? And once we run our mirror, we'll just hijack another ship. This is going to be the future of the Kapua Sky Bandits. <laughs> Don, what's happened to you? What in Adio's name has happened to you? Sorry to interrupt, but could you have your little family feud later? You again. Racers, why are you here? How can you say something so heartless? Especially after you gave us a lift here in your own airship? Impossible, what are you talking about? It can't be. You had your airship sitting in front of the Emerald Tower, right? We just slipped in when you weren't looking and hid in the cargo hole. In other words, we stole a ride from a bandit. Huh, take that. For a dimwit, you really outdone yourself this time. 
Who are you calling dimwit? You two-faced tomboy? <laughs> What'd you call me? You bimbo airhead brood? Isn't bimbo a whore? <laughs> How is Estelle a bimbo then? <laughs> Just try it and say that again. Or maybe bimbo is a bitch. I don't know. English is hard. <laughs> Alright, alright, enough the bickering between you two. We, we've liberated the hostages and defeated the other members of your group. So it looks like all that's left is you three. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. It would be best to, not to resist. Man. Crap. Kyle, Josette, what is the meaning of this? Sorry bro, I'm sorry Don. <laughs> That's okay, I'll forgive you just this once. Once I kill them, they'll be dead. What? <laughs> what a bunch of fools you are. You did think with that pitiful number of people that you could ever capture Don Capua. He's got a fucking cannon. <laughs> ah! Look at how, how effort effortlessly he handles that orbital cannon. Kyle, Josette, it's time to hunt some game. And I like this. And I like my sport bloody. All right. So we're gonna have to take out uh, Josette first because Josette is a bitch. <laughs> So, maybe we should Earth Guard. Okay, that hurt. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> hmm. Should I? Yeah. Resist? Son of a bitch. We need to kill this bitch first. Ah, you miss! How could you miss? Ow. Shit. Ah, you son of a bitch! I hate you so much. Okay, we learned that recipe. Thank God. Alright, he's dead. She's dead. Good. I'm tired of that bitch. <laughs> Alright, now how do I get myself into this mess? Ow! Well, he's dead. Nice. Okay, I need to... 
increase everybody's morale here. <laughs> you miss! How could you miss? Try this. So I need to heal myself up. Nice. Not my intention, but whatever. Whip that bitch. I'm just gonna use everything. <laughs> Kill this guy. Alright. If he hasn't died yet after this, no what? He's gonna die. Here I come. There we go. Wow, we got a lot of stuff at now. These guys are tough. So d this is the strength of a bracer, huh? Crap, how can I lose to this girl? And that's how it's done. Have you learned your lesson yet? Now this has been settled. I'm going to ask that you surrender nicely. Any more trouble out of you and well, you know what happened, right? <laughs> Yikes, no, anything but that. Why me? Why do I have to go down like this? <laughs> What the fuck is going on with my life right now? That's what Kyle would say. <laughs> um... Ow. What's going on? I heard all over. And when did I get an orbital cannon? What the heck? Bro! Don! Oh, Josette, are you back from Roland already? If you're back this quickly, then I guess things didn't work out, huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't try and cover it up. If you had enough... Then how about leaving the breadwinning to us men? <laughs> we probably won't be able to earn a whole lot, but be patient. Don, what are you talking about? Did you hit your head, bro? Josette came back from Roland like forever ago. I went to pick her up right after we attacked the airliner. What? Attack an airliner? What's all this crazy talk? We never do something like that. What is this guy talking about? I don't think he's trying to cover his butt. I think he really doesn't know. Come to think of it, who are these strangers? Don't tell me, they're new recruits. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we're not. We're with the Bracer Guild. Ah! <laughs> what a bunch of Bracer are doing up here? These guys completely lost his marbles. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Whether you've forgotten or not, you're still under arrest. You're charged with hijacking an airliner, hostage taking, demanding a ransom, and other such offenses. Hijacking an airliner? 
hostage taking and demanding a ransom? Kyle, Josette, tell me that this is some kind of joke. Don, I think that's my line. But thanks to you, bro, we got a chance to escape. Ah! Oh, hell, not again. Hey, Kyle. We'll talk about this later. Let's just focus on getting out of here. <coughs> I'm never going to <coughs> get the smell out of this <coughs> hair. Let's hurry and get out of this room. Which way did they go? They went up. They're going to try and escape in their airship. Uh, ah, after tracking them this far, we can't let them get away. We gotta catch them. Right. Understood. I made it out alive. What a tragedy this has become. My delicate nasal cavity. Hey, Olivier, you better hurry. We're going to leave you behind. Wait for me. Yep. So we gotta go all the way back to where <laughs> we got them. God damn it. Hold it right there, you. You're not getting past us. You guys are back for more after taking a righteous beating like that? Now that's what I call tough. Hmm. If you don't want to move, then we're just going to force your, our way through. Fuck. Well, we did it. I mean, but we almost killed Olivia, though. Fuck. All right, let me just heal up everybody then. It's a good thing that everyone, when if you're leveled up, your EP gets back. So yay. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. Let me go and save. All right, let's go. Not gonna fight that. Ah, fuck it. Okay, before we leave, we did get everything that we wanted right in here. Let's see. Black notebook, yes. And, uh. The jeweled ring, right? What's that? Dun 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 dun. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. There you are. Don't think you're going up any further. Take hostages and go. So you're back for more, huh? What are you trying to do? Buy a time for your leaders to escape? <laughs> They've done a lot for us over the years. Now it's time to return the favor. Alright, we're good. How do I get past this shit? Cool. Okay, I think we're almost there. Crap, it looks like we got company. Don't think you're going to walk out of here the same way you came in. All we need to do is buy some time for Don, Kyle, and Josette to escape. Trying to shield your masters to, to the bitter end, huh? Though it's ridiculous to be thing to do, your spirit is un admirable. Then I wonder if beating them into a ground into the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down. Oh, good shit. Let's see. Alright, that's enough. There we are. Huh? What's this? How did the how did the army find out about this place? That liar! Things weren't supposed to go down like this. Hey, get your dirty mitts off of me. Hey, what's going on here? So those are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits? I'm, sh I'm surprised there's such a young woman too. How about you shut your rat yap and start taking some good pictures? What are the chances of getting another scoop like this? So how about it, Niall? Is this enough to help you write a decent article? You bet it is! 
I'm really grateful that you took us along. And oh, and would you mind if we took a picture of you while we're at it? Hmm, what do you think, General Morgan? Do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No, this was the result of the accuracy of the intelligence division's an analysis. And thanks to the cooperation of those of you standing over there. What? Um, what are you guys? I mean, how the heck? What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey, look, it's Estelle and Joshua. Bracers, why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you, we infiltrated this place one step ahead of you again, and the entire hideout has been subdued. You chased the fleeing Sky Bandit leaders up this way, but I never would have guessed that the, the Royal Army's patrol ships would be waiting. Uh, once again, you've overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strike saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we turn their recognize shouldn't we in turn recognize their achievements hmm. do as you wish i'll leave the rest up, up to your discretion i'll return to the shit <laughs> to the ship not shit and see what information i can get out of these sky bandits very well general and that old man stubborn as ever <laughs> he's not a bad person he just lacks a little flexibility that aside, where are the other where, where are the other sky bandits and the host and the hostages? The other lackeys should be just lying all over the place, unconscious. As for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they were imprisoned in. I see. You have done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the hostages and cargo to us. Let's move, Captain Al Al Amaltia. Yeah. Yes, Colonel. <laughs> Ah, uh, wait for me, Colonel. I really like to interview you, kids, but this time the Colonel is top priority. <laughs> and but if we have another opportunity, I appreciate doing one with you too. See you later, Estelle, Joshua. <laughs> my my my! You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen just like that. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The Bracer's role has always been the, that of the unsung hero, so there's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah. Dad always made a point of staying in the background too. Really? I never noticed. Ah, where is that? Um, I guess that's the one problem we still gotta figure out. <laughs> where is that now? What is he doing? Why has- and why hasn't he tried to contact us? Hmm. It looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to Bose and report what happened with the incident. We'll try and figure out what to do about your dad after that. I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory. <laughs> So I don't know if we could exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been, been there, I don't know if the army's raid would have been successful. Backed into a corner as they were, the Sky Bandits may very well have harmed the uh, hostages. Agreed, everything worked out because you infiltrated their hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. You really think so? <laughs> It's true that the hostages were free and the Sky Bandits arrested, but it's a bit vexing to know that there are still some unanswered questions left. The men who appeared at the Valeria Lakeshore and the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits, I think we should consider that there's a lot behind this incident that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll have to leave the, that part up to the Royal Army to figure out. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's really not much left we can do. Anyway, we should be just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the, the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've, I've added a bit of bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? Uh -huh, of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Olivier. <laughs> I just hope that my work was worth the price of that grand Chardonnay. <laughs> Yes, in fact, there was a change to spare. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if anything else comes up, I greatly appreciate your help again. Good day. 
Wow, nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if we if the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused mo much more confusion. It's probably natural only natural that the mayor is as happy as she is. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel all giddy, giddy inside. <laughs> I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of other people. Yeah, if you say so. But I think it's safe to say that you're no longer greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. Hehe, <laughs> you think so? At any rate, please accept our assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. Yeah! Sweet. Receive haze. Oh, sweet. Here's the pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very nice sum. And this is from me. Recommendation. Isn't this a recommendation from the Bose branch? Is it alright to give this to us so soon? Of course. It would be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such such a big incident. <laughs> Please accept it. Thank you, Lugran. We'll work so hard we'll work hard so that we don't bring any embarrassment on this recommendation. <laughs> Great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sure. You're probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yeah, it's definitely not like him. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner in Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Aren't you the receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits, and among the s among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that, but wait a minute. Why is there something addressed to this branch when the airliner left Bose to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Roland branch, but aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? What? Well, that's us, but... Oh, perfect! We contacted the Roland branch. They say you had come here. So here you are. This is the parcel. Stella was given both le the letter and parcel. This letter? Yep, it's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Roland branch. It seems as if he just scribbled it. Scribbler it out before he got off the airliner. I guess dad did intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh. Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad too. No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. Okay, my business here is done, so I'll be on my way. Oh, and one other thing. Good job on in helping arrest those sky bandits. You, you bracers sure do excellent work. <laughs> and to think that a clue about your father would be mixed in, the, with, mixed in with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you like. Thanks, Lugran. Well then, let's have a look at the contents, shall we? <laughs> All of a sudden, he's part of the group. <laughs> do you mind telling me what you're, what you're still doing here? Just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. What did you, why did your father disembark the airliner prior to its departure? Where were I forced to wait around for an answer? The question would stick in my mind, so I'd never be able to sleep at night. <laughs> and you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel can you be to, compa to a companion who has traveled alongside you? <laughs> And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandits hideout? I wonder. All right, already. <laughs> you can rather be. You can be a rather obnoxious fellow. I hope you know. <laughs> I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we may have to ask you to leave. Okay? Ha! Huh, of course, I understand. All right. Let's see what he has to say. Estelle started cut by cutting the letter seal. Dear Estelle and Joshua. I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm, sh I'm also sure there are many things that you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, it, it turns out that I had a little trouble with my own work. 
and unfortunately it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did, but you should be grown up enough to not to be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave it up to the both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16 year is, is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sarazard and Aina, Cassius Bright. That seems like the type of letter your father should, would write. It touches lightly on things, but it's full of consideration toward the both of you. Yeah, it looks that way. The Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep, it's about two or three months away. Which means this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Forget about that, let's focus on what's in that package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself, but we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know. That's true. Olivier. Do not, don't coax Estelle into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Actually though, Olivia does, does have a good point. Instead of leaving it un until our dad comes home, it might be worth looking into. Okay, let's check it out. It's actually a really cool thing. Estelle opened the parcel from the unknown sender. Yep. Inside was a shiny black hemispherical device. Uh, also enclosed was a single memo with the item. W what's this supposed to be? An it's an orbman, although I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item the aforesaid Afros group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find an opportunity. K. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out. I think it's... I think Kurt, uh, no, yeah, yeah. Is it Kurt? I don't, I, maybe, yeah, I think it's Kurt. That's it? Yep, it looks like the sender didn't write anything else. Sarah, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility that these people could be foreigners too. If this is the only thing we got to go on, then honestly, I'm about to ready to throw in a towel. <laughs> What the heck is this black orpman anyway? From the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle orpman, even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle orpman has slots in which to install quartz, but this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact. An artifact? Precisely. An artifact is an orpman created by, the, by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models of, for all orpments produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septian Church has custody over them. They're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. Looks to me like it was made recently. You're right about that. However, this one almost seemed like a black market item. Jeez, now look what happened because of my good for nothing dad. <laughs> Doesn't he know that we're all worried about him? Estelle. Now he's getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender. What in the world has my dad gotten, gotten himself into this time? Estelle. You know Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? Huh? Joshua. That's what dad wrote in his letter, right? He said, or oh, you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Yeah, he did say that, but we've already managed to get the recommendations from Roland and Bose, right? All that's left are Ruan, Zeiss, Zeiss, and Gransel. Only those three. If we do jobs as we travel around the, to these other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is or what he's doing. I think we're just worrying about ourselves for nothing, considering Dad's skills. And there's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. But I think 
getting off our own doves in is a lot better than just sitting around and waiting. We just might be able to find this Professor R too. Um, Joshua, what? You're a genius! <laughs> Estelle, what are you talking about? This is, this is like killing two birds with one stone, or maybe even ten. Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. Sh should I sh consider that as a yes? <laughs> oh, is it ever? Yes, yes, triple yes. <laughs> Training to be a senior, bracers, as well as we travel around liberal? And exposing what that no good middle aged man has been doing in the process? Um, I think you're somehow missing the point. <laughs> it looks like she's back to her old self. <laughs> I guess it's settled, settled then. Well, take care. I'm going to head back to Roland now. That said, I'm I'm a little I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? Give it a rest, Sarah. We'll be fine. No, we're not gonna be fine. We're fucked. The whole reason we're going on this trip is to become senior bracers. You wouldn't be training if anymore if you came with us. If you didn't go back to the Roland branch, who? who if you if I'm sorry, I, if you and if you didn't go back, the Roland branch would have hard have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. Well, if you insist, it's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for senior bracer status, so don't overdo it. And if you run into any trouble, contact the Roland branch, you got it? I'll come running no matter where you are. Sure, thanks, Sarah. And the same goes for you, don't get yourself too liquored up. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> Alright, I'll watch the number of drinks. <laughs> Never fear, dear children. You can count on me to protect fair Sarah. <laughs> And why are you headed to Roland? Not to mention with Sarah? <laughs> That's because I've tasted all there is to taste of the local dishes here in Bose. <laughs> and I thought about it was I thought it was about time I turned in I turned my attentions toward another region. As for Roland's cuisine, I've heard the pro the produce is just to die for. So that's what I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. He says he's, he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant and some lovely vegetables or some nonsense. <laughs> Since he's so persistent, I only agree to him coming along under the condition that he go drinking with me at the bar. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> well, we'll never see him alive again. <laughs> Olivia, I really hope you understand what you promised her. Ha, huh, I could die for the likes of the f of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many ag agonizing hours of consideration, I decided a company to accompany Fair Sarazard instead. <laughs> I think I'll be better off with you a safe distance from away from you. <laughs> from me. <laughs> yes, a restraining order. Well, have fun, but I'm warning you, don't you dare make any trouble in Roland, you hear me? And here's another piece of advice, when Sarah's at the bar, watch out, that's when the gloves comes off. <laughs> I'm seriously not joking when I say you should be beware. <laughs> How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle. <laughs> and besides, Aina's coming along too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you. The gloves come off, huh? Is that perchance what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes, Estelle said it best though, it was nice knowing you. Yes. It was a pleasure. <laughs> eh? <laughs> the Roland Bound airliner will be departing shortly. Yeah. Well, Ollie boy, it looks like it's time for us to leave. Come on now, we better hurry and get on. Sarah, wait, can we talk this over? I really appreciate it if I had just a little more time to think things through. <laughs> Surely you're not getting cold feet already. <laughs> if you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like a nanny. Nice knowing you, buddy. See you later, Sarah. Give our regards to everyone in Roland. Have a wonderful trip, you two. Well, there goes our best attack. <laughs> and also our best magician. <laughs> ah, well. We can deal with that. It's fine. We get stronger and stronger every time we, we go. Well, there it goes. 
that's the end of the chapter one. So next chapter, I guess. No, look at that a trophy or achievement. That's love and peace, baby. <laughs> anyway, I guess the next. Uh, I'm gonna end the part here because it'd be appropriate to end the part here. So yeah, I guess the next part we're gonna be starting chapter two and finishing off the Bose region and moving on to another area. I think it's called. I think it's Rouen, right? Yeah, Rouen area, which means the Genus Royal Academy. That's where G Genus Royal Academy is. So, yay! Alright. So, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later!